basically what I'm going to do is try to pre-flatten these things down before we start sanding. And, and the, the real trick is a brand spanking new razor blade and you're going to hold it 90 degrees. You're not going to try to cut the run. That doesn't that fly. Uh, but by, by gently scraping and uh, sometimes if you're doing something in a, in a weird angle and you might have some put some tape to keep it from scratching the, the side of it. But in this case, uh, it's actually a really good angle to not get any of the other stuff, but you're scraping the high spots off. Uh, and then when we start sanding with the 800 and the 1000, uh, and my personal preference is to, uh, you know, use, uh, to go all the way out, I sand out to 4000 before I even start buffing. But the, uh, you start with a flatter surface and then the sandpaper doesn't tend to rock over the top of the hill. I just create two burn through spots while you still have stuff in the middle. Uh, you have a lot of control over the razor blade. Uh, and, uh, and worst case scenario, you know, I'm going to have to sand this whole thing and reshoot it. So I'm not really losing anything to try a one razor blade in about 10 you know, 15 minutes worth of work trying to see how flat I can get it. Then I can wet sand and buffer and listen for uh, the sounds of uh, like little little particles, little marbles in there. Uh, it should just be a smooth hiss as you're going along. Not too much pressure. Uh, X's are magical. You know, you can kind of cut across the scratches you've already made uh, and helps flatten things out. Uh, the, uh, this is thousand on here right now. Um, stupid trick. If and I, we're we're this is a uh, single stage. Uh, water bottle, hole in it. Uh, you don't need garden hose out here making a big mess. Uh, you could do this with the shop closed. You, know, you can do this inside. Uh, in the middle of winter, you know whatever you're doing. But basically, I could feel it get smooth. You know, I'm, I'm still got some roughness there because of the just because of the debris and stuff on here, but uh, but we are they're, they're, the runs are gone at this point. Uh, it's just dull, and we have to bring back the shine. Uh, so I'm going to hit hit this with some other little spots with thousand and then fifteen hundred. One of the reasons we're doing this by hand is because it, a, a real a real scratch, a real sand, a, the hand's motion on a flat surface is really what you need to do to make it flat. I'm only taking this to 1500 at this point. Uh, one thing about buffing uh, is somebody else may have an entirely different way to do it uh, and that will work fine. Uh, I kind of prefer uh, the DA to a buffer. Uh, if you ever try to buff something with a big buffer, I would have it bolted to the car. Uh, this thing being bungee corded to a stand, uh, I have thrown things across the shop. I have uh, uh, caught the bungee cord and spun it up uh, and hit myself in the face with a with a buffer. Uh, so it's, you know, it, I, I will do what I'm gonna do today, I'll show, but the, uh, but if I was using a real buffer, uh, I'd, I'd probably stop soon and, and get this thing mounted up on, a, on the truck and have it be solid to where I couldn't, uh, you know, where I couldn't throw it across the room or hit myself in the face or nothing like that. Uh, uh, it's my mom's towels, by the way. Uh, but we got this, the runs are gone. It's flat, it's smooth. Well, now we want to bring the shine back. And I know this is going to sound like a sales pitch maybe it kind of is, but the Merca guy came to my house and showed me how to use this stuff, so, like 10 years ago. Um, and it's it's Aberlon. It's basically a foam-backed um, sandpaper. You use it wet. I just went and soaked these all, rinsed them off in the sink. Um, I'm going to start with 1,000 because I, I've noticed sometimes even sanding, you probably don't have to, but, but sanding, um, the, the dual action sander leaves less sand scratches so I'll, and it takes just a second so I'm going to be just real quick and hit it with a thousand to make sure I get all of the 
any uh, you know scratches that came from the the, the vertical sanding out of there uh, and it just that's it we're, we're done with that step uh, the Aberlon will not cut through orange peel uh, it just tends to ride the surface because it's soft particles can embed in it that's why they made it soft so they won't scratch but it won't cut through orange peel so that's something to know uh, that's why we use the stick to get ahead of there to get the run and or any orange peel you would do the same way now switch to 1500 or switch to 2000 I'm skipping 15 because because I don't have any I use this is used uh, I, I can use a piece for a couple different trucks usually with this kind of pieces uh, and the last truck was black that's it we're done with 2000 now it's hard to see because it's yellow and you're an, and we're on a camera but the water is actually starting to beat up on this 4000 grit and that is exactly what I was looking for. As, as it beads up, that means we're actually starting to get a shine. My DA to run all the wet dry paper is almost always Velcro. So I've got a Velcro DA. And it just, on this little spot, if I was doing a Chevy truck hood, uh, something big, absolutely grab a buffer. But in this particular case, it's so small that we're just gonna get it in and out. So the DA, the, the backing pad is going to stick right to the right to the DA. So the buffers pad were going straight on the DA. Um, I'm using an old Presta compound. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, I think most of the compounds now are pretty damn good. And to give a real preference, I think it's almost what you're going to find. Uh, there is competing theories. Uh, some guys run one kind of pad and run different compounds on one uh, abrasiveness of pad. Uh, other guys run different pads in the same compound. I run different compounds in different pads. I got cutting cream on a cutting pad and that's the key word is cutting. You know you want something that's a cutter. Um, and it's going to polish this right up. I mean, like I said, with the 4000, we're actually, it probably could be driven around right now with the 4000 grit because it, it is shiny. Uh, and this is big. Uh, I have seen Meguiar's has got some smaller foam pads that look like they go right on a DA with no, uh, no overlap. So I, I'm gonna try those next time. DA's wet, or the pads are wet. I always wet things first. I like water. Uh, it keeps from burning through things. I've only burned through a couple things in my whole life. They were both plastic. Because the dual action sander isn't really spinning the pad, it's it's oscillating it. The, the chances of having a problem, uh, like burning through or throwing something or any of the above problems is, is pretty minor. Uh, it almost can't happen. Um, that's that's that part um, uh, another real thing to remember is once you've got a pad that you have a compound you use with it in this case the Presta 2000 is going on the pad that I've marked with a 2000 um, always always shake them a little bit of compound Back on the same DA I've been using this whole time. Velcro back. Doesn't have to be that centered because it's not really spinning. <laughs> Doing something larger than this, I would probably have that squirt bottle that just fell down in my hand and I'd be wetting the panel and adding compound and wetting the panel uh, because you don't run out of you run out of compound pretty quick and uh, but since this is so small I don't really have to worry about that 
but basically there is now not really any evidence whatsoever that I ran this. Uh, there is, uh, it's flat, I can see the reflections of a grill on my old truck over there, and, and there's just nothing even showing. And black, like I said, you may have a little waver still in black, but being yellow, it's gonna be bolted on a yellow truck and no one's gonna see anything. But like I said, looking at the reflections, uh, it's as flat as any other part of this old truck. Uh, so that's the long story. Uh, cut to black, logo.